Where is the car, the Professor Yemi Osimbajo, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, test drove three days ago? This was a question I asked the first set of entrepreneurs I met at the Nigeria at 60 Expo. There was excitement in the air, of course, and they took me to the stand of the NADDC, that is the National Automotive Design and Development. Now, when I got there, in less than two minutes, I was standing before the first electric car in Nigeria. I was super excited. But in this episode of SME Roundtable, I'm going to walk you through my personal experience coming face to face with the Hyundai Kona, the first electric car assembled in Nigeria. Nine hours to charge. Nine hours. Yes. That's a drawback. Massive drawback. The side of this sedan feeds me with nostalgia. The long journey to automobile development for Nigeria came alive in my mind. In a flash, I remembered my mentor, Professor Clement Olaoye Polayan, who was the first executive director for the Center for Automobile Design and Development. Back in the days, he led a big team of expert engineers to develop the first tricycle in Nigeria. They also pioneered automobile development in Nigeria. We give them credit for the work they have done. Today, standing here and looking at this car, just fills me with all of those mixed feelings. The car seems to me like uh, it is an embodiment of all the sweat and the hard work that you know these great people have done long before now. So I used to work with um, the center as a graphic designer and a photographer. And um, I was privy to a lot of conversations with Prof and a lot of things, a lot of intrigues that, you know, went into all this work. It's quite refreshing, you know, to bring that all that back to mind. Two decades later, and I'm standing right in front of history at the center of all of us. That's a super big to me. Now, the highlight corner that I'm looking at, means more than a car to me. It is an embodiment of the long years of sweat that many experts have piled in, you know, and have put together to bring this to reality. It is, more importantly, it is a reflection that Nigeria is committed, you know, to greatness. And that when we put our hands and our heart at something, we surely can achieve it. We recall that the corner was first presented by Stallion Motors in November of 2020 and that was launched at the time by the governor of Lagos State, Governor Samuolu, Baba Jide Samuolu. Um, you know, a few months down the line, precisely in February, Engineer Jelani, the current executive director of um, the National Automotive Design and Development, unveils the car in Abuja. Now, four months after that, the Vice President, Professor Simbajo, test drove the car during the exhibition tour of Made in Nigeria, products tagged Nigeria at 60. It was at that expo that I also had a chance to test drive the first electric car made in Nigeria. For me, it was an exciting moment. My first experience in an electric vehicle was remarkable now because I have followed Elon Musk, the billionaire entrepreneur who has spent a lot of time and resources in doing some remarkable work with electric car development. And I've been fascinated by the work he has done. So, but little did I know that I was going to be driving an electric car this soon. All of that, you know, was pouring in me and just drawing out all kinds of emotions. The Kona Electric offers mm -hmm. an attractive interior with comfortable, supportive front seats on a generous list of standard equipment. When I got in, you know, I, I felt, when I started driving the car, I felt that it was quick and nimble, and it was also fun to drive. This vehicle 
has a range of 482 kilometers on a full charge. That is like driving from Abuja to Kano on a single charge. You know, the corner gets going in a hurry. Measuring a spirited 0 to 96 kilometers in 6.6 .6 seconds. <laughs> Fortunately, I didn't have the test track to try that speed. The electric motor is still silent at all speeds. Trust me, I did not even notice when the ignition was turned on. No sound whatsoever. I needed to depend on the dashboard readings to figure out the state of a car. <laughs> Talk about intelligent technology and you will be right. So the corner was, the ignition was on and I didn't know, I was sitting right in the car, I didn't know that the ignition was on. We had to like put it off and put it on again and then read the dashboard and you know, so how cool can that be? The car comes with a strong warranty that covers five years of a hundred thousand kilometers, whichever one comes first. When I first met the entrepreneur, someone asked in the in the audience, now generator will use charge the car. <laughs> Everybody busted laughter because the question seems funny on the surface, but trust me, if you look at this deeper, as much as it sounds laughable on the surface, the question amplifies the concerns of millions of Nigerians who experience gross electricity deficits. If you're watching this on your television, chances are that before this video will finish, you know, your lights would have gone out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> the question of electricity availability became pertinent, becomes very pertinent in my mind when you look at this because the corner requires a full, uh, you know, nine hours, 35 minutes to be able to complete a full charge. If you compare that with the Tesla uh, Model S, which um, completes a full charge at 15 minutes, you clearly will see that the corner stands no chance at competition whatsoever. However, guys, think about it. This is Nigeria. I mean, we'll have to like do our thing our way. Um, don't tell me that we shouldn't, you know, assemble or manufacture electric cars until we get electricity right. No. The Henry Ford built his first automobile in 1886. At the time, there were no commercial, there were no filling stations or petrol stations, you know, in town. Commercial adoption of petrol for combust, the combustion engine came, you know, a couple of years down the line. So you want to create demand. In my mind, what this car has done is right because it's going to help to... So now put demand, further demand on electricity, ensuring that the government opens up the space so that investors come in and do the deal. But here's the good news, really, for, for, for this car in my mind. A full charge on the Hyundai Kona will cost on us 316 Naira. Only. <laughs> you heard me right. 316 Naira. We will be able to charge the Kona, you know, fully. But here's how that compares with our current expenditure on fuel. That is like 3% of the total cost of filling a 60 liter fuel tank in a regular car. So comparatively, in terms of the cost of maintenance, Nigerian drivers and owners of cars are going to salivate and are going to be happy with the maintenance budget of the Hyundai Kona. For me, that's the strongest point that um, the high and dark corner has. So uh, let me wrap this up by saying that the presentation of the high and dark corner comes at a time that Nigeria is committed to reducing its carbon emissions by 179 million tons per annum. There couldn't be any better time than that. This can be achieved among several other things by adopting renewable energy and decarbonizing mobility. And this is a step in the right direction. I celebrate this. So the rest of the world who is watching Nigeria now know that this message that Nigeria is sending out is very strong. We are committed. We want to be part of the community of nations. We want to do what every other nation is doing to save the earth. So Nigeria is renewable energy compliant. 
on the corner the highlighter corner represents that i'm super excited i hope you found this exciting but if you did i invite you to hit the like button and click the subscribe button to stay connected to our channel so that you can get more quality videos coming your way i'm super happy and i hope that in no time the high that corner should be gracing our streets and getting every other person riding check the two videos that you have on the screen here so that you can catch up with what we're doing thank you very much and have a blast